It was a unanimous vote tonight to keep the historic St. Louis High School open. Good evening, I'm Ann Allred. And I'm Mike Bush. The St. Louis Public School Board voted just about an hour ago. Our Casey Nolan is live tonight with the breaking developments. Casey. Mike and Ann, just 10 years after the Civil War, Sumner became the first public high school west of the Mississippi to give a diploma to a black student. Tonight, the school board gave that historic high school what may be its last chance to stay open. Now, of course, people, like you said, do associate the school with famous alums like uh, Chuck Berry, Tina Turner, other famous folks. Well, when a lot of them were going to school at Sumner, there were around 2,000 students there. Now, they have just more than 200. And that is the reason the superintendent has said it's just cost too much to keep it open. But when he announced it would close, people came forward and with more than just protest, the superintendent says, he says this is a legitimate plan that may not cost the district a dime. That's still being worked out, could be a small investment. COCA, the arts education organization over on the loop and the Black Rep Theater Production Company will open offices inside Sumner High and offer a quote arts and activism focus for students through extracurriculars. SLPS already has a magnet school for the arts. That is not what this is, says the superintendent. This is not a school that's going to turn kids into artists. This is a school that's going to expose kids to the art with the belief and hope that if they learn about the arts, it gives them a greater appreciation about who they are and how they fit in the in the world that we're in. So this is a three year plan. The board wants measurable ways to see that they are helping kids get jobs after high school. There is an advisory board with prominent folks from UMSL and WashU, other industries around St. Louis. Also, Charles Berry Jr. is on that advisory board. The new program, they hope to have it up and running by the new school year, fall 2021. Live in St. Louis, Casey Nolan, five on your side.